industries in India. Localization. Where they are located, so there are certain factors. Overall, the most important factor is this is the assembling industry. The finished product may be the raw material for one industry and its finished product may be the raw material for the next industry. So it is a chain. Finished product of one industry is the raw material for second industry. The raw material of the second industry is the raw, uh, finished product of raw, second industry is the raw material for the third industry. So it is the basically the assembling industry where the ancillary complex of ancillary industry is used to determine the localization of this industry. But in India, where the complex, where the complex of industries are there, it is evolution of complex. Here we have two parameters. One is the historical parameter. Historically, we have the different complexes and the second parameter is the FDI, where the foreign direct investment is has come in India. Either we have the two type of the complexes, they are controlled by the historical factor, where inertia, historical inertia of the existing industries are attracting the industries and uh, FDI, where FDI is coming. Nowadays, we require most of the industries in India, we have the look uh, the FDI, say southern states, southern plus uh, FDI uh, investment, uh, southern plus western India versus you can say northern and eastern plus northeastern India. So most of the FDI in India in last three decades, in, 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 in last three decades, most of the FDI was in southern India particularly in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Gujarat. These are the states. What are the advantages? First is the state policies. State policies are the important factors to, to invite the, uh, so they provide the financial uh, uh, law and order Consist law and order is the one of the most important factor a private investor may not invest uh, where law and order is uh, there is the problem of law and order wherever the uh, peace is there industrial environment is there we have the most of the industries or FDI comes to the reason where law and order is properly maintained and they don't have the past track like in eastern India northeastern India we have regional insurgent groups like Naxalism is there, Bodo is there, Alpha is there Naga Socialist Council is there. So they all Khaplang group or blah blah. So many tribal groups even nowadays Meghalaya Student Federation is creating a lot of problems. So who will go to the reason where inconsistency is there? Sometimes Maoists are there, Leninists are there, Nexalites are there. The tribal population, tribal people 
I don't know how they manage the very dangerous, very lethal arms and highly technocratic uh, uh, ammunition. And they are trained in uh, blasting the things. Uh, even, uh, I don't know, the illiterate people, remote people, who, they, who, who are financing them, who are supplying them such a um, dangerous arms to them. So who will go to the eastern India? No. No one will go. And apart from that, some natural catastrophe are also playing vital role. Like northeastern region, the Bihar. <coughs> it's a flood prone region. With regular intervals, flood used to come and destroy the uh, habitat over there. So, roads get disturbed, accessibility get blocked, uh, connectivity uh, breaks down. So, in such condition, the natural, uh, the flood conditions in eastern India. And the policy of the state government like West Bengal, the last industry, in the large scale industry in West Bengal, that was started by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in 1961, the last uh, uh, heavy engineering industry called Durgapur steel plant under sale. And after Durgapur, no new industry came in West Bengal. This is, this is the outcome of the state policies. So state policies, law and order and infrastructure, existing infrastructure. So what is that? So these are the state policies, law and order and industrial infrastructure. Industrial infrastructure means electricity, roads, housing facilities, educational institutes, training centers, IDIs, diploma centers, poly, uh, polytechnics. So to give the training to the youth. So this and the finance, availability of finance is there. So uh, overall they makes the environment that is called industrial environment. So every industry, if, if it is offered like in South India, Kerala is the state, Tamil Nadu is also the state, adjacent to each other. But FDI is not coming to Kerala, but it is coming to Tamil Nadu. FDI is not coming even in Andhra Pradesh, but it is coming in Maharashtra and Karnataka. So adjacent states because of the inconsistent policies, like for the last 10 years there was the uh, problem and road blockage in Andhra Pradesh, students union were seeking separate Telangana. So there was the political inconsistency and the law and order problem was there, so no investment was there. Uh, so uh, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh, they are completely segregated from any kind of industrial investment. Few companies like Isuzu, Isuzu, Isuzu one uh, Japanese company started its plant at, at uh, Medak in Zahirabad. Though they have also developed uh, one Isuzu plant at, uh, they also started at uh, Chittur in special economic zone. But one or two industries that is not substantial to sustain the industrial reason. So this automobile industry, it is the assembling industry. So it is highly super specialized industries. So this is one factor, this is assembling industry, this is one. Second is super specialized industries. Every product is a super specialized industry. And, and super specialized means every product of every industry, whether it is a small industry, cottage industry or household industry or ancillary industry, they are making the product of international standard. So uh, uh, finishing and uh, as per the requirement of the next industry, the product or the raw material of the super specialized, finished product of the super specialized industry would be raw material for the next industry. If there is any problem in this uh, finished product of one industry, second industry cannot run. So every industry is linked. So there is a linkage of industries. So this is one is assembling industry, super specialized. So this is have a linkage. Linkage uh, of uh, industries. All industries are linked. In such condition, 
it requires huge financial investment. Huge finance. It requires best technology plus technocrats. So it requires technology and best. Uh, uh, this automobile industry and, and the technocrats, the engineers. Finance is required where huge financial investment plus insurance companies, plus insurance facilities should be there. So these are the factors which determine most of the automobile industry. If you see, uh, in isolation, one automobile industry cannot sustain. It requires a complex. Complex is important to sustain the industry. Like uh, in, in, in uh, south of Delhi, in Gurgaon, Noida, Haruheda, these are the industrial, small, small industrial parks and industrial complexes. They make the big industrial reason. So in these parks, they have, uh, there are the hundreds or the thousands of industries and every industry is making their super specialized product. If, if say, Gohati in Northeast provides conditions that Toyota may come to Gohati, how Toyota may survive in Gohati? Because Toyota company requires thousands of the product of different super specialized products and it is very difficult to transport the product of Toyota from Bangalore to Guwahati. So if there are there is the industrial complex in Guwahati which provides the different product to Toyota, then Toyota may think over going over there. So even after the law and order, Punjab has no problem in law and order. Himachal Pradesh has no problem in law and order. But accessibility, industrial parks, they are missing the industrial parks. Small, small industries should be there. So Maruti Suzuki is sustaining because hundreds of thousands of the industries are located in and around in Gurgama to provide their product to the industry, uh, to, the, to the Maruti. So the, that's why the rates are uh, controlled. So we have more the competition. So most of the industries in India, uh, the automobile industry, the important factor is localization, where they are located and what is common in all of them. So I will give you a small chart of it. Uh, you just, it will be easy for you to understand why most of the industries are located in some of the places. Uh, if I say in the localization, we have three type of industries. One is called passenger vehicles. Passenger vehicles, like cars. Apart from that, we have the commercial vehicles. Commercial vehicles like we have trucks and buses, and the third type of vehicles you can say two wheelers. These are the three types of vehicles. And the location, if I say number one location in India is say Pune. Pune in Maharashtra, there are these industrial complexes, small, small industrial complexes around Pune called Chinchwad, Pimpri, Talegaon, Chakan. These are the small, small industrial parks. They are uh, uh, having the, uh, you can say, inertia factory is there. They are inviting, attracting industries. Historically, they are located since more than a decade. So most of the industries, so passenger vehicles, so I'll give you the, some name, sometimes I get confused, you may write down the name of these industries. So it is passenger vehicles, the world's best quality of cars in the world called Mercedes cars. So Mercedes from Germany, they prefer to locate in Pune. 
so it is highly super specialized passenger vehicles tata motors tata vehicles are located all tata uh, so many cars indica car and uh, there is so many different products of tata are there kya naam bata sakte hain tata ke product ke indica safari safari yes tata safari car car not suv okay tata yes okay okay now now the comfort of the job box man box wagon the jaguar jaguar and land rover apart from that premier auto mobiles you know premier auto mobiles like uh, fiat car eh? so this is uh, like fiat, fiat auto mobiles premier and fiat and the another american that is called general motors gm it's us company it's german company it's english company it's also german company these are premier is italian company so all this is multinational product multinational companies Jaguar is taken over by Tata now it is so that is but originally it was the uh, English company so they are located see the commercial vehicles in Pune you have again the Tata Motors Bajaj Auto Bajaj Automobiles Force Engineering Works Uh, premier, premier trucks, Porsche trucks, they all are manufactured over there. New Holland tractor, and apart from that, Mahindra and Mahindra, Mahindra and Mahindra. trucks they are and there is one also that is called tafe tafe is a tractor company they are see how many companies so pune has like chinchwad pimpri uh chakan so these are all industrial parks these industrial parks all together provide their product to the industry uh, pune super specialized as per the requirement so one of the world's best vehicles uh, manufacturing companies are in pune uh, automobile uh, Pune has only one two wheeler company that is called Kinetic. Kinetic or all uh, Kinetic Engineering Works. देखा होगा ना Kinetic जिसने रेवोल्यूशन लगा दिया Kinetic two wheelers products are basically made for girls and women to use it. They are user friendly. without any complaint so they they they, they brought lot of change in indian society so this is one city which brought the uh, where most of the automobile industries are located. so what are the advantages so the collective advantages we will discuss now come over to the second industry second industry in india say another city say chennai apart from pune may clean it
most of the all over the world most of the industrial development used to take place on the coastal cities in the port cities but in india though port cities are also developed like chennai is there but we have potential to develop the other port cities but our port cities are not developing continental cities are developing like pune is the continental city aurangabad is the continental city delhi is the continental city if i say port city none of the port city except chennai has developed the automobiles even mumbai they don't have only one automobile company is there that is kandivali kandivali is uh, where they used to manufacture mahindra xuv plant was established in kandivali half of the products they used to manufacture koi bhi india ke port city mein kuch bhi so what is the reason indian ports most of the indian ports are prone to cyclone east coast side uh, coastal region second is we have the uh, most of the ports are the artificial ports and third is the uh, coastal regions are inaccessible they are mountainous uh, densely forested uninhabited region so in such condition the in developing infrastructure in a undulated topography is a herculean task so it is not so it is better to develop the continental so we have the port to the hinterland city access through the road we develop the city industry so here like in chennai what are the industries located in chennai so in passenger you know port vehicles american us company the hyundai and is a south korean company like mitsubishi japan hmm asit mitsubishi is from which country kahan se hai mitsubishi bete smriti from where the mitsubishi company is from it's indian company american company german company oh european so the big european union and eh? which is a union of 25 countries it's a japanese company bete it's a japanese and ford let the samriti Ford. Ford is from which country? America. America. Okay. And Hyundai? Renault. Okay. Nissan. Like BMW. All these companies are located in. chennai for passenger vehicles see the commercial vehicles for commercial vehicles again they have the messi e y messi m e s s y messi fabrication tractors they have in tafet and apart from that in chennai they have the ashok leyland your buses and trucks of ashok leyland and there is one c n x you must be knowing uh, caterpillars diggers road khodne ke liye aap dekhte hai na there are the dressers caterpillars to clean the canals to remove the silt from the canals from the rivers are you getting my point yes sir so the, the big machines hydraulic machines all engineering vehicles cnx cnx is the largest excavators which used to be so it is in chennai daimler again germans company bharat benz it is buses we used to make caterpillars caterpillars it is also in chennai and there is one place called 
इसुजू इसुजू अभी नया आया है जापान से एक्चुअली इट इज इन सिरी सिटी देर इज इट कॉल्ड सिरी सिटी सी आई दिस इज ए स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन इन आंध्रा बट वेरी क्लोज टू चेन्नई बिकॉज ऑफ दी चेन्नई दे हैव डेवलप दी एस सी जेड एंड इनवाइटेड एट्रैक्टेड दी इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड दिस इज इन चित्तूर डिस्ट्रिक्ट वेरी क्लोज टू चेन्नई दो इट इज नॉट इन चेन्नई बट बिकॉज ऑफ दी क्लोज प्रोक्सिमिटी ऑफ चेन्नई स्टार्टेड दिस प्लान ओवर देयर एंड एट दी टू व्हीलर्स चेन्नई हैव दी यामा प्लान बेसिकली मेन यामा प्लांट इज इन फरीदाबाद बट रेदर यामा प्लांट ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड रॉयल एंड फील्ड देर इज वन कंपनी कॉल्ड हार्ले डेविडसन वेयर हार्ले डेविडसन इज लोकेटेड कहा बनती है ये इंडिया में सो वी हैव दी असेंबलिंग यूनिट इट्स यूएस कंपनी and apart from that near chennai we have the tvs tvs is company located at osur osur is uh, uh, little far from it is in tamil nadu so it is almost 200 km from chennai but osur is a big industrial complex and uh, vectra kamas vectra suna hai aapne vectra Kamaz Vectra, two wheeler motorcycle. Okay, this is again at Kosu. Kosu is also in the Tamil Nadu, not exactly in Chennai. Yes, they are almost 200 kilometers from Chennai. So these are the uh, industries located in Chennai. Apart from Chennai, uh, this is the port city. What are the advantages of Chennai? Port city. historical advantages one is port city number two is historical advantages number three is industrial environment is there state state government policies conditions are supporting but 3 month ago there was a flood in chennai city and that was really a devastating flood rain the down pouring the rain or the count in the form of cloud cloud burst continuously for 3 days exceeded the discharge capacity of the discharge channels so when the rainfall is more than the supply of the discharge channels the capacity of the discharge channels and most of the discharge channels are enclosed for human habitation in the form of this nurse and dj colonies and the people constructed the their houses in the periphery of the canal rivers and these small small channels in the streams and the rails and the, everywhere there are the space in the city the big city so slums occupied it they stumbled the flow of the water and overall their area get reduced so it is flooded it is uh, very you can say exceptional flood this year in chennai where airport was flooded railway station was flooded so chennai railway station people were sitting on the top of the trains half of the train was submerged under water continuously for four days people were entire city was flooded because of rain not by river flood by river or a breach of the embankment of the dam so it is because of the rain and and city is located on the coast so immediately water may discharge to the sea even after that there was the flood it 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 disturbed the industrial environment but uh, it should not have been done it and uh, neither it happened in more than Hundred years history of Chennai. It never happened like this. So it was very exceptional flood, and this flood even sometimes natural 
catastrophic create problem in developing the industrialization what i said about bihar bihar has regular floods chennai has once in a in a you can say complete century entire city was flooded jahan expect